Welcome at the Summary Club, friends. Today we are going to talk about how to have a good love life. After all, sex, as a physical component of love and harmony, is an important part of a relationship and sometimes even determines its course. Unsatisfaction in bed can lead to deterioration and sometimes even to the breakdown of the relationship and the breakdown of the family. Some of the partners, quite possible, will seek links on the side, someone will simply begin to scandalize or blame their significant other. And, of course, everyone wonders if it's possible to learn how to make love perfectly, giving maximum pleasure to both your partner and yourself. Is it possible to become a perfect lover? And if so, how can we do it? Many people are seriously complex about their skills in bed and attach great importance to this issue. How can you not get complex when almost every advertising poster, billboard and TV screen today shows us half-naked handsome men and beauties with perfect figures, and the pages of magazines are full of articles about what skills an ideal lover should have. While people, having access to the previously forbidden topic, are constantly discussing sexual relations, building some new rules, stereotypes, drawing in the head the ideal of a lover. This is where half of the complexes in sexual relationships come from, because such an environment does not contribute to sexual education and emancipation, but on the contrary tightness, the development of fears and increased tension. The head of almost every person who cares about how to have intercourse properly is occupied with thoughts of this kind. Do I look good enough? Do I move well? Do I fit the image painted by millions of books and articles? As a result, sex is perceived by people as a kind of test, an exam, where everyone must squeeze the maximum out of himself so as not to make himself look inexperienced, inexperienced or ugly. So the first thing to do to improve the quality of sexual relationships is to relax. Each person is different, so rules set by someone cannot work with everyone. Sex is not an assembly of some mechanism, which it's best to conduct strictly according to instructions, it is a skill given to us by nature itself. And nature isn't so stupid as not to provide our body with so-called built-in instructions that can only be learned intuitively, instinctively. So I advise you to throw out all the magazines, videos and other materials that teach you how to do it right, they can hardly give you anything really useful. They will only embarrass you, because if you want something that, in the opinion of some author out there, is not right, you will be complexed and embarrassed, ashamed of themselves and their desires, and as a consequence, you will not get any pleasure. Don't get hung up on someone else's rules. Instead, try to listen to yourself and your desires, as well as your partner's desires. You can do it only intuitively, concentrating fully on the process, but certainly not distracting yourself with extraneous thoughts like what if I look somehow wrong, or what if I don't correspond to what was written in the book. After all, it often happens that after learning a technique from which, as the source guarantees, the partner will get the greatest pleasure, the person began to actually put the technique into practice and became so fixated on the action that he simply didn't notice how his partner looked at him with horror and wrinkled his nose. Subscribe to the Summary Club and watch short versions of the most popular and useful videos every day. Today, sex is primarily an advertising tool, an appeal to mankind's basic instinct. This tool is used exclusively to sell a product or service, to make money, and it is used successfully. Both marketers and, in fact, advertisers absolutely do not care how happy the population is and how much sexually satisfied it will be, so they quietly spread a variety of stereotypes. Give up the hooks generously thrown around by advertisers and businessmen. Understand that this is a game in which you make your own rules. The most important thing here is to be relaxed and focused on the process and your partner. Having love should bring you and your partner pleasure, so what happens in bed is only up to you. And many people today behave as if their every act is broadcast to the whole country, and the people sitting in front of the screens evaluate and criticize so that they can go around pointing fingers at those who, in their opinion, were weak in bed. In fact, you don't have to report to anyone, ever, on how you prefer to make love. There are no examiners who will give you a D or refuse to give you a diploma, so just do it in such a way that you get maximum pleasure and happiness from the process. That will be the ideal for you. 
Forget all the myths and stereotypes about it forever, trash most of the training books and magazines, and try to trust your own nature. By the way, yoga classes are not a bad way to improve the quality of intercourse. There is nothing surprising in this, because yoga primarily teaches meditation, that is, the ability to focus on the current moment, fully feel every cell of your body, and not be distracted by extraneous matters and thoughts. And it's this skill of being consciously in the here and now that can help you get the most pleasure from sexual intercourse with your partner, as well as pleasure for him. After all, in a perfect relationship, you should both be in the here and now, and do what you like to do, rather than remembering how actors did it in the respective movies. Especially if you do yoga, you can perform things that these actors never even dreamed of. This will help to diversify your sexual relationships. And, of course, don't forget to get enough sleep, eat right and exercise. After all, only a healthy person can get the most pleasure from sex. Our self-development portal wishes each of you, dear viewers, to give up the stereotypes and start living by your own rules, at least in the area of relationships with the person you love. Believe me, only you know how to make love, because only you can understand yourself and the person closest to you. Stay with us and wait for new informative materials on this topic, as well as on the topics of harmonious family relationships, love and marriage. For example, if you do not have a constant good partner, we have a whole book, Love, Instructions for Use. Also, we have an interesting article for men on how to bring your girlfriend to orgasm, and if you have been living with your partner for a long time, I advise you to read about the problems of sexual relationships in families after marriage, and also read how to properly fall in love with any man, and how to fall in love with a woman, and dozens of other interesting and useful articles on sex and relationships. And also, of course, watch our learning and self-development channel on similar and many other topics. For example, we advise you to watch how to learn how a man and a woman really understand each other, as well as why you really need love in esoteric terms. And friend, don't forget to subscribe to the Summary Club for becoming more successful, educated, kinder and wiser every day. Save hundreds of hours and dollars spending on boring regular education. Feel free to write your opinions and questions about each video. We read all the comments. In addition, go to our official website, where you can find reading materials or watch other videos on channel and links in the description. All the best.